We've spent the past 10 days in Bali and it's fair to say that we've fallen back in love with this island. 10 out of 10 recommend. Beep. We've still got a few days left in Changu, so we're heading to Finns, which is apparently the world's best beach club. So let's see if it lives up to that title. We're also visiting a viral coffee spot. And soaking up the last of the sunsets here. Guys, welcome back to the Bali vlogs. We were basically, let me just rewind. We were in bed this morning, we were having a little bit of a lie in, and it was about half seven in the morning. And me and Jasper both woke up to like being shook awake. And there was like a mini, I don't even know if it was a mini earthquake or it was like a moderate earthquake i don't know what they classed it as but we felt our first earthquake which was so strange like i've like i've seen videos of earthquakes particularly like ones in japan that are like super bad so i've seen like videos of it but it's so strange actually feeling it and experiencing it in person luckily from what i've seen online like no one was hurt everyone was fine but apparently it's just one of those things that happens actually quite a lot in bali but a lot of the times you just don't feel them so yeah that was so strange it was so weird we were literally lying in bed and the shaking like woke me up and the coat hangers in the wardrobe were just like bashing against each other it was only it was almost like you were shaking me to wake me up yeah like... by the time that we'd woke up and like realized what was happening it had already stopped so it was like, it was like five 15... seconds no it was longer than that it was like 10 10 seconds 10, 15 seconds maybe yeah it wasn't like a long one but yeah so strange to actually like experience quite scary to be honest but luckily everyone was all good and it was all fine but yeah i thought i'd share that because that was a new experience for me but today we're having another chill day we're thinking of going to a cafe today and then later tonight we're actually going to go to a beach club we're thinking of heading to finn's beach club just for a couple of like drinks just to see the vibes there because we actually visited there the last time that we were in bali but we haven't been back yet so we thought we'd head there this evening to go to a cafe called secret spot and it's actually a fully vegan cafe but they do really good caramel frappes so i hope they still do that the last time we came to changu they did so we'll have a look and hopefully we'll get a nice frappe We actually spent so much more time in that cafe than I was expecting. We were just like organizing our lives, sorting out some travel bits, and then the time has just flown. And we looked at each other, we were like, we wanted to go to Finn's at around like 4 p.m. so we could get a drink there, we could watch the sunset, but the time has just flown. And I don't know what it is now, I think it's like half five, six o'clock. So the sun is just about to set. So we were like, you know what? We're gonna go Finn's tomorrow instead. We've got a couple more days here, so we're not in any rush to actually like fit it in. So we've quickly just got changed. We're gonna head down to the beach Beach, watch the sunset and maybe actually get a drink in somewhere along the front which would be nice because there's quite a lot of like places you can drink and watch the sunset so that is our plan of action so i was just singing to myself were you singing yeah i was singing that song <laughs> go to the beach each <laughs> let's go get away so, so one thing i'll say we're out and about we're off to watch sunset oh my god that was so close <laughs> Man, it felt close. I don't know if it actually was close. It's probably about two meters away. Yeah. Jess does this to me all the time. Pulls it. Jasper! It, yeah, it, like, it's dangerous. It's way of life out here. It is, it really is. Anyway, we're on our way to the beach. Let's just hope for a good sunset. Hopefully. I'm in a good mood tonight as well. Yeah, Jasper's <laughs> feeling feeling good. I don't know why. So yeah. you people out there who say, why is Jasper seem so miserable on camera? Yeah, everyone right. says you do look miserable on camera. They used to, didn't they? Yeah. I, they... Just, I must just have a resting bitch face. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to have a little walk along the beach now. <laughs> Like I'm kind of glad we didn't go to Finns for sunset because this is probably the least best sunset that we've seen. The least 
best sunset. Not the best sunset we've the seen. Worst sunset? <laughs> okay, That's what I was looking for. The worst yeah. sunset we've seen. And I put well, it's quite cloudy. It could it could still do that thing where the like last second the cloud shit like Changes. Yeah. Last second it goes like crazy, but right now it's not given. Bit. So we're just gonna have a little walk along the beach. Enjoy the evening vibes. This is the perfect time to go out for like a daily walk because yeah, it's so nice and cool. You've got the sea on the breeze. Beach, it's just always a breeze. Yeah. You don't actually feel hot. Whereas even up in the streets when we first come out, I was like, God, it's still warm. Yeah, exactly. As soon as you get down here, it's lovely. nice. There are so many little bars which have like bean bags out of the front of them. So you can just sit there, have a drink, watch the sunset. We're too late, they're all taken. I know, they're so busy, so you have like, to get here like, like an hour five, before maybe. sunset, yeah. Yeah. But they're all super busy. But it's just so cute, like I love the vibes in Bali. Everything just feels like super chilled, super laid back, really relaxed, and that's just mine and Jasper's vibe to be honest. Yeah. We don't no, like the like stress. It. I think we are so much more beach people than city people. And there's a lot of Australian people. Everyone, I like, I like Australian people yeah. because Australian people are friendly. They're all so friendly and also they're just like, I feel like they're just super laid back. Like nothing's yeah. ever too much trouble. We love Australians day, so. Man. Yeah, Joss has been working on his accent. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the current sunset, let me show you. This is what it's looking like. I think we might have made the mistake of leaving the sunset too early because it is so pink now in the sky. It's gorgeous. We have decided we're going to go treat ourselves to an oak berry. If you don't know, that is one of our favourite acai bowl places and I'm just so happy that they have them here in Bali. So we're going to have that and rather than getting a drink, because we were obviously going to get a drink, but couldn't get a seat anywhere. No. So love that for us. To be honest, an oak berry sounds so good right now. I'm sorry, is this not the best thing you've seen all year? Oh my gosh. These are literally the best. And I even, oh, I don't know how I'm going to attack this. I feel like it's just going to spill out. I don't know if you can see that, but we've even got dragon fruit on top, which to be honest, I love the color of dragon fruit, but it really just doesn't taste of much, which is, it's like the most disappointing fruit because you think it's going to be so flavorful and it's just not, but I honestly love the color of it. So mm. if you ever get an oak berry or just an acai bowl in general and don't get peanut butter, you're doing it wrong. You have to get some sort of nut butter on it. Jasper's just been washing his sandy feet. And we're going to enjoy this. And we also went to this place called Pizza Fabrica. And we got ourselves a little takeaway pizza. Nothing too exciting, but what was meant to be a night out at Finn's Beach Club has kind of turned into a night in. But we'll revisit it tomorrow. And, um... Yeah, hopefully we actually make it out tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So we are out and about this morning. We're heading to grab our morning coffee. I slept so well last night. Like, I feel so refreshed this morning. Jasper's here as well. How did you sleep? I actually slept pretty good last night. You were in such a good mood yesterday. I loved it. I don't know why I was in a good mood. I was just happy. I don't know. Just good mood. Love it. Mm. Let's keep that up. But we're going to go grab our morning coffee now. We're actually going to go to a spot which is actually really popular, which we didn't realise was like a famous coffee spot in Changu, but apparently it is. So let's head there now. It's so nice and sweet. It's called Gigi Susu. I think that's how you say it. It comes in a compost. I feel like someone's eating me. Fly, probably. Yeah. It comes in a compostable cup, which I just think is so good because usually it's just like plastic cups everywhere. Not really. That's good. I just got a nice latte with sugar syrup. Love it. Love it. We've just come down to the beach, and we're currently watching the surfers. The waves are actually huge today. There are so many surfers out there this morning. 
Jasper wants to get out there. <laughs> Shit, man, it's done. Yeah. I don't have a clue how to start, but <laughs> give it a go. Today has ended up being a pretty chill day. I actually spent most of the day editing my last vlog, so I hope you guys have been enjoying the Bali vlogs. But we are now ready for the evening, and I've just got on a bikini. I've got this little white dress I'll show you in the mirror. And then I've just put some little, like, curly bits in my hair. My hair could do with a wash, so I thought, you know, this is the perfect time to do a little updo. But as we said yesterday, we are going to be heading to Finn's Beach Club tonight, get some drinks, hopefully see the sunset. Fingers crossed it's a good one tonight. It has been quite cloudy and hazy today, so we'll see. But I'm just wearing this little white throw over the top dress. And Jasper's got a shirt. Shorts are a bit creased, aren't they? One of my two nice outfits. <laughs> so that is what we are wearing. I actually love this shirt though. It's like textured. It's nice, isn't it? I can't yeah. remember where I got it from. Let me see. H&M, was it? H&M, yeah. It's a nice one. It's nice, it's just when I get hot, it, for some reason the seams like irritate my skin, but what can you do? <laughs> gosh you guys last night was so much fun i was not expecting fins to be that good like i thought it would be like quite a vibe because it is technically i don't know if this is like true but they always say it's like the world's number one best beach club um so i knew it was going to be good but last time we went to fins last time we left quite like early we just went for the day and at night it goes so crazy like there was smoke there was fireworks like it really was insane. The music was so good. There was this, I don't know if they do like different artists like every night or whether that was like an in-house singer or what, but she was really good. And they were just singing all the songs that you could just like sing along to. It was so good. So we were on the dance floor bit with like the DJ booth. And then there was like a countdown and it was counting down from 10. And I was like, what the hell is this counting down to? It got to one and then it was like world's best beach club. And then there was like smoke, there was flashy lights. I literally couldn't see. And there was fireworks going off it on a See, you just have to be that and it is so good. And the best thing about Finn's Beach Club is you don't actually have to pay to get in. So last night me and Jasper didn't like book a bed or anything like that. We just walked in and just bought like two drinks each. So yeah, you don't even have to like spend anything if you don't want like a sun bed. If you obviously are going for the full day, I would highly recommend booking a bed. And there's like a minimum spend for most of the beds and you just have to make sure you spend that on food and drinks. So, but if you just want to go for like a couple of hours in the evening, like we did, yeah, you can just walk in. We just got a taxi there walked in bought a drink today is a new day we're actually gonna head down to the pool have a little pool morning in our hotel make the most of just being in this resort i literally love it here i'm gonna be so sad to leave in a couple of days time so i need to get my bag together and let's go so we made it to the pool and we're just currently sat on a little cabana they've actually put them up in the last couple of days that we've been here and it's actually really nice because it's quite shaded and i personally love sitting in the shade on holiday which to Jasper's despair because oh there's a fly Jasper loves lying in the sun and I am always in the shade <laughs> that is probably why I don't tan but then I also don't age so yeah worry about that I don't need to worry about that <laughs> getting older anyway. but I'll show you where we're currently sat Jasper's just sat here waiting for his sun cream on his back to soak in you soaked in yet? <laughs> no <laughs> I feel like I'm getting sweaty yeah so it's just not soaking in <laughs> I definitely feel so hot. And then spinning around here, this is the pool, this is the hotel. So we're kind of up on like a little platform. I'll show you what the cabana looks like. And this 
is what the little cabana looks like and then we've just got these like bean bags here so it's actually a really nice spot to set we're gonna chill here for the next couple of hours jasper is like dripping with sweat <laughs> what's going on here? Coming down with something or something. Yeah, like you're so I'm sat sweaty. in the shade and I'm absolutely... I mean, there is no breeze up here. That is one thing I would say. I don't think there's any breeze today, to be honest. So it no. does feel extra hot and humid. We should probably get in the pool in a second. That'll cool us off. I'm gonna, I need to go to the shop. Yeah? Mm. You're going to go to the shop? Some water. A little solo mission. I always go to the shop on my own. Aww. Not once have you gone to the shop for me. <laughs> We can have a domestic. <laughs> yeah, that's... I need a Pecori sweat. They're great. Ever yeah. come to Bali, get a Pecori sweat. There we go. Top tips from Jasper. Full of all your, what's it called? All the stuff your body needs to hydrate. There we go. Better go get one. Good. Yeah, your face is like sweating. <laughs> My ankle looking like that. Oh yeah, Jasper's got some bites on his ankle too. Well, why are they going like that? I don't know if anyone wants to yeah, see your ankle. Someone might be able to diagnose me over the. Inches. Yeah, that's true. That is Jasper's ankle. I think there's just like three bites. So, they've gone like weird, like spreaded purple, and my mm. ankle is actually quite swollen. We went to the shop, got a Picari sweat, got me a little Coke Zero, which is nice and icy. And we've also got that's a dig to the back to get a big cold. bottle of water. Did you? Yeah, they must have restocked like all of the fridge, uh, so I had to like dig to find some cold ones. Good evening, guys. We pretty much spent most of the day by the pool relaxing, and I've just come upstairs and had a shower. I actually washed my hair today because it was in desperate need of a wash. I tried to like eke out how long I can go without washing my hair for as long as possible. So I'm currently just doing a little bit of makeup because we are going to head out for dinner. We're actually going to this restaurant which I was kindly invited to um, because basically the restaurant saw my TikTok videos and was just like, do you want to come try our new burger menu? And they essentially have like, I mean it's like 15 new burgers. So I was like, yes please, that sounds like a bit of me. So we're gonna head there this evening and try some burgers. It looks like a really gorgeous restaurant. So I'm super excited for all of the good food. Jasper also, as we all know, loves a good burger. So yeah, we're both super excited. I don't know, really know what to expect. Apparently some of the flavors of the burgers are quite like out there. So we'll see when we get there. We'll see what they recommend. Um, we'll just try them, see if it's a good restaurant or not. It's so hard to decide where to eat when you come to Bali because there is so much choice from like local restaurants to tons of re Western restaurants and Honestly, you really are overwhelmed with choice, especially here in Changu. It's genuinely restaurant after restaurant, cafe after cafe, and you pretty much need like three months here to make your way through all of the different restaurants. The restaurant is about a 10 minute drive, so we're getting ready now, Just we're just currently in the shower, and then we will head there and see what it's all about. Right guys, we are now ready for dinner. Just was so excited for his burgers. Woo Can't wait, so. Let's order a grab. Or a go jack, whichever app we're gonna go use jack. today, go jack, and um, we'll head there now. my gosh i am literally in the biggest food coma i think i've been in my entire life that was Whoa. a lot <laughs> so you're right about that peanut butter and caramelized oh my God. banana so you had in a, a burger like i would never have put that together but we just went for it and it tasted so good yeah, like if so you're good. a peanut butter fan you will love it if you don't like peanut butter then obviously no i read it nine out of ten because slightly too much peanut butter because mm -hmm. they put it all over the top bun all over the bottom bun it's a bit peanut buttery just so but, but then like i said to you when you had a mouthful with the caramelized banana it like balanced it more look at whereas, you the food connoisseur you know, <laughs> whereas with the bite where it was like you just had burger and peanut butter you could just really taste peanut yeah. butter anyway so but i really enjoyed it 
I I actually really want to go back. Like it was that good. I want to go for. We'll have to go try breakfast because our breakfast is meant to be really good. Yeah, we actually need to. Yeah, I think we're gonna get an early Ooh. night tonight because Finn's really took it out of Jasper last night. Too much partying for one year. <laughs> I'm old, I'm 27, I ain't been built for this. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's actually quite windy out here so hopefully you can hear me alright but we woke up this morning, it's actually our last full day in Changu. I'm actually going to be sad to be leaving Changu because I actually love it here so much but we are heading to Ubud next so I'm excited for a little change of scenery. Also Ubud's gorgeous, it's way more like jungly, rice fields, waterfalls, it's way more like nature in Ubud so yeah I'm really excited to be heading there but today is our final day in Changu. Jasper's still currently in bed because he hasn't been feeling very well this morning. We've had a cold the whole time that we've been in Bali pretty much. So yeah, I, I feel like we picked it up on the plane and still haven't like shifted it since being here. So he's just been having a lion this morning, but I am actually gonna head out, have a little walk around Changu, probably grab a coffee or something. So let's head out on a little morning walk. <laughs> Guys, it feels so weird to be out on a little solo adventure. It feels weird not having Jasper here. Oh, I'm gonna get run over. <laughs> but I've grabbed my coffee. We're just gonna have a little walk down to the beach. But yeah, I feel like my right arm's missing. Like Jasper not being here feels so strange. But hopefully by the time I get back, he'll be feeling better. One thing I would say about walking around Bali and just being in Southeast Asia in general is that you actually do feel so safe. Before I came traveling, I always wondered like, would I be able to go out and about by myself? Like, would I always want to be with Jasper? But honestly, everyone's so lovely and kind and I just feel so safe here. I'm now back at the room. Jasper's still in the room sleeping. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna head down to the pool, have a little swim about, have a little chill on the sun lounger, probably try and read some of my book because I told myself before we come traveling, I'm gonna try and read more i've literally read one page of my book so yeah we really need to do some reading so it has clouded over a little bit now but i actually kind of prefer that because when you're in the like direct sunlight i feel like my skin is burning to a crisp jasper is alive just to let you uh Guys will know he survived, so we're all good. I had such a strange solo day without you. Well, it was solo travel day. Yeah, what like- What more could you want? Peace I mean, and quiet? I didn't really do, do much. Do. I don't really do anything. You got a coffee, went to the <laughs> Went to shop, the pool. Went to the pool. Yeah, that was pretty I much my day. most of the day. You're feeling better now though, which is good. Yeah, I don't, I don't do it too bad. I feel just feel tired still. Yeah. I think tomorrow, after I eat a big breakfast, I'll be all right. Yeah, so I just had a solo chill day. Jasper had a sick day, and now we're finally. I was like, I'm trying, back I'm trying to sleep, and then <laughs> I fall asleep, and then just decides to like wang open the back back door, and then I fall back to sleep again, and then next thing you know, she's I don't know. I was. You're just not very good, are you? Being quiet. I was trying so hard to be quiet, and that's why I was like, I need to just like go out because then you can just rest. Tomorrow we are actually obviously heading to Ubud, so we need to pack up our full room. We need to, because we've been here for like two weeks. Everything like stuff is everywhere. I mean, the majority of it's yours, so. Oh. I'll just pack my clothes up tomorrow and be all right. But I need to pack mine tonight because I've just got. You just you just got a lot of skincare and yeah that sort of stuff. It's all good. And I mean, you can't get keep me down. <laughs> you can't keep me down. 